getting away from the back where we're getting the primary run fit. We call that, fellas, fall run fits. Meaning, if we line up in a balanced alignment, we're always going to fall back to where the tailback is aligned. So the will falling back, but so like what we're saying is, if we just said both you guys are B-gap players, that whichever way the back goes, where the back is, or the line is going to zone that way, that you're going to fall away, fall to the back. So that brings the will to the D-gap and the mic to the B-gap. And obviously, that safety falls into his run fit or the nickel. So we call that fall fits. So same thing, that the back's over here, there's nowhere to fall to. The Mike linebacker's already in his B gap, and the Will linebacker has fallen into his B gap. That puts the safety in the outside gap. Okay? So fall run fits is what we're talking about when we're fitting opposite the back. Where does that come into play? Really when we're in dot, because it's not declared yet. So if it's not declared, we're going to line up more balance. We're still going to line up to where we would normally line up to. So the Will's going to line up to the tight end, the Mike's going to line up basically head up on his back. And if we said out of dot, we're going to fall, meaning if the back goes this way, or more importantly, if the line zones this way, where's our fall take us? Regardless whether the back goes this way or does that, the mic falls to his B, the will falls into his B, and the line tells us, the line going to our right tells us that the right safety is in. So if Obviously, if the back is dotted and the line goes this way, so once again, it doesn't matter whether the back does that kind of motion or that motion, the line tells us the will falls back to his D, the mic falls into the backside B, and that puts the nickel or the safety fitting in there. So that's what we're referring to when we say fall run fits. It's already declared for us if they give us an offset back. When we fall, same thing. The back is telling us, is declaring where we get in, where we go into. Okay? So the will is in the D, the mic's in the B, we're fitting this way. So let's say this happened. We always have to deal with this a little bit. And if they align this way, the back's tight, and the will linebacker's here, and the mic's basically lined up on his guard or over top of his tackle. Uh, let's put him over here. He, I'm sorry. He's aligned to his back. And they run a same side zone. And they zone this way. And we tell you, we're going to fall versus the same side zone. We're anticipating with the back here, 90% of the time, you're going to get a zone to the left because the line is going to zone opposite where the back is. On the same side, if they go same side, then the zone, the line means they zone to the side of where the back is aligned. And we tell you to fall versus that, that means the mic would fall back into his B like the back was aligned over here. The will would play his B and that would put this safety or this corner into the outside D-gap. So that's why it's important that you understand what these run fits mean and why we're doing what we're doing. It's because we don't, wanna, we don't want this to happen. Be, and then they zone, and they turn out here, and then the ball runs through here. It's hard for that guy to get in. We want the Mike linebacker to fall back there, the will, and we can push everything out to our secondary support this way. So that's what we're referring to when we say same side or, more importantly, what fall run fits mean. So 
you basically, no matter what, even if you're to the side of the back, if you so right here, we're, if we line up, and the wills here, the mics here, this corner, and this safety are thinking, all I got is extra on the quarterback. But if it's a same side zone team, you have to be cognizant of if we get zone to the side of where the back is and we're falling, you now go from being extra on the quarterback to primary run defenders, one of these two guys. And then these guys would become, one of those two would become extra on the quarterback. So you have to understand the concept because same side, uh, same side plays is going to change what your run responsibility is on the snap. So everybody has to understand that. But as far as what your keys are, where your eyes transfer to, all it's telling you to do, that line zoning one way or the other is just telling you where to fall to, where your run fit goes. But what, you're, what you do with your eyes doesn't really change.